L2B, the first place to go to find out about Ethereum Layer 2s. Hey guys, my name's Leon, I'm the Metaverse Explorer. I'm a content creator over at Collective Shifts, where we try to keep you updated on the crypto industry and give you the best up-to-date information. In this video, we're gonna go over L2Beat. We're gonna look at the first, who made L2Beat, or at least who's making the GitHub contributions. Number two, what does L2Beat actually show you? Number three, we'll look at the finances versus the risks of all these different Ethereum layer twos. And lastly, we end with the L2 fees, which gives us an overview of all the different fees on Ethereum layer twos. But before you go anywhere, I want to make sure you like and subscribe this video because this is quality content for you. If you are extremely interested in the crypto market, I want you to take a look in the description down below for a 10% discount code to the Collective Shift platform. Let's get started. We start our journey over at the L2 Beats website. It's a generally basic website which gives you some great information about the different Ethereum layer 2s. But with anything cryptocurrency and security, we have to know who started this website, who first made this website. So I did a little bit of digging and I managed to find the person responsible. His name is Piotr. I don't know how to say his last name. He's the co-founder at L2Beat and he's got a really nice picture here. So this is the guy uh, that's responsible for the website we're about to use here. And luckily for me, I did some more digging and I was able to find him on LinkedIn. His name is Piotr uh, Slatskiak. Sorry, mate, I, can't, I really can't say it. He's building a better future using cryptocurrency. Now, I wanted to read a little bit about his about profile just to give you an idea of who he is. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. When uh, it grants you the ability to reason and love for computers, it feels natural to start a programming career. And so here I am graduating with an engineering degree. Should note his experience. He is the co-founder of L2Beat at the moment. He also used to work, work at ETHWorks, which is very, very interesting. Let's go over to the GitHub repository of L2Beat. This is the general code base where people can come and contribute code to the L2Beat uh, website. We can see here, this is him. Piotr, you can see he has the most commitments even across from April last year all the way through to this month. We have Antony and Luke and Kizakor and Sinsic. But as you can see here, these guys have only a small amount of contributions. We can see Piotr absolutely has the most contributions. So Piotr is the guy who built L2Beat or at least who has the most contributions to L2Beat. All right, let's go ahead to our second point. What does L2Beat actually show you? We have a look here at the main website. It's got an overview um, which shows us a graph. The graph itself, it actually looks at the metric which is called TVL, total value locked. Anytime people use a decentralized application, or in this case, the Ethereum layer two scaling solutions, there is a set amount of money that's locked into these layer twos. At the moment, that stands at $5.48 billion. You can see while hovering over here that this is the graph showing when the amount of money actually came into the ecosystems. So we can see here on September 9th, there was only $813 million, and then it started shooting up and has since been going further up and up and up. We've had a slow decline, but now we seem to be approaching a high point as well. Let's go ahead and go further down the page so we can discover more about it. By the way, before we go down, that's the maximum time frame to view it. And you can see the last seven days, how much TVL has been locked in all the Ethereum layer two scaling solutions. Down here below, we can see the finances and the risk. We'll have a look at that a bit later. At the bottom here, we have all the different listed Ethereum layer two scaling solutions. We go from the most popular, just showing you all the TVL, the breakdown of them, which is uh, uh, what tokens are inside of them, what the seven day change of the TVL, the market share, how much it actually dominates the Ethereum layer 2 scaling solution landscape in regards to TVL only, not user participation. It uh, shows you the purpose of why this was built and also the technology of which it uses. Because all there's different ways to build something, right? An Ethereum layer 2 scaling solution can be built using multiple different methods. One of them could be an optimistic rollup. One of them could be a ZK rollup. One of them could be a Validium chain. Different technology strategies to build what you want to build. Now, let's have a look at the top 10 or top five, shall we? Let's zoom in so you can see. We start with Arbitrum 1, which has a whopping 2.73 billion dollars in TVL. It's got a 6.34% change, which is a decreased change. But guess what? Arbitrum 1 holds nearly 50% of all the TVL in Ethereum layer 2s. That is very significant, right? 50% of all the value in layer 2s is held on Arbitrum 1. And guess what? They don't have a token yet. 
Now, we recently did a video on Arbitrum. Make sure you check it out. Let's have a look at the second one, Optimism. Optimism does have a token. It just got launched a while ago. It's got $1.66 billion, which only houses 30% of the entire market share of the Ethereum Layer 2s. This is followed by DYDX, Loopring, Metis, ZK Sync, Immutable X, and ZK Space. Uh, some of these guys have tokens, some don't. So this is the best place for you to learn about these Ethereum Layer 2s and actually get to know them, right? We can see here DYDX has an influx of new changes. Everyone else is losing TVL, but DYDX is getting more uh, TVL at the moment. We can see here from my point of view, I would actually only try and experiment with the top 10 because once you go down, they have only 0.06% of the TVL locked in the Ethereum layer 2 scaling solution. So for me, that is not a good enough to reason. That means there's no one there. There's nothing happening there. Let's keep going down the page and let's read some of the little information they gave us. Uh, whenever you hover over Ethereum Layer 2 scaling solution, it's got a little exclamation mark here. A token is associated with a project amount that, that accounts for more than 10% of the TVL. There is one token that accounts for more than 10%. If a token associated with a project accounts for more than 90% of the TVL, which means there is a heavy skew in the actual chain, this might be very detrimental for the chain. If it has this little rosy thing, this project is built using StockX and Optimism is Optimism's code base. So we can see here, Optimism, of course, is built with Optimism code base. And then we have Metis Andromeda, which is also built with Optimism's code base. Berber Network is built with Optimism's code base. So Optimism is like the big daddy of the different code bases. It has it uses a universe, is for universal purpose, and it also uses the optimistic, optimistic roll-up technology. Let's have a look and find out more about L2Beat. While we do that, let's have a look at their Twitter in case you miss them. L2Beat is an analytics and research website about Ethereum Layer 2 scaling solutions. They provide a comparison of various Ethereum Layer 2 systems available today. An important differentiator between L2Beat and similar sites is it's committed to educating users and lists only projects that match our narrow definition of an L2. Let's have a look at their Twitter, see what they say. L2Beat is a research website for Ethereum Layer 2 scaling solutions. They've got 17,000 followers, which is pretty awesome to see. Let's move on to our third point, shall we? Which is a discussion between the finances and the risks that Layer 2 actually gives us, it explains to us. So the finances talks about the different TVL and the changes in the TVL and market share, as well as the purpose of the chain itself and the technology. We can see Loopring here is associated with tokens, NFTs, and AMMs, while Immutable X is NFTs and exchanges, which is pretty awesome, right? Let's go ahead and look at the risks. There are risks associated in cryptocurrency this you cannot avoid. Code sometimes is law. When something happens, it's going to happen and you, no one is going to give you your money back if something happens. We can look at the different risks associated with all the different layer twos. Ethereum uh, one, the state validation is a type of explanation on how the uh, blocks are validated. Look at the data availability. Is it upgradable? Is the core code upgradable? Sequencer failure and validator failure. Some of these have no mechanisms to uh, stop validator failure, which is sometimes unfortunate. Fortunate. DYDX and Loopring have an escape hatch, which gives them a validated failure out. Look at all these other ones. So ZK proofs for state validation, um, um, in development for Metis Andromeda, and also in development for Optimism. So it's very interesting to look at all the different explanations and to actually understand the security behind some of these tokens and some of these uh, um, layer two Ethereum scaling solutions. You can find out more about them in the link down below. Now, let's move on to our fourth item, which is the L2 fees. At the bottom of the layer two uh, L2 beat website, there is the L2 fees, which gives you an idea of all the different fees associated with using some of these Ethereum layer twos. We can see here that Loopring uses a 0.01 fee just to send Ethereum, which is pretty interesting. And you can see here when you go to l2fees.info, it gives you some of the base layer fees to use some of these Ethereum layer twos. We can see here, for example, Loopring to send an Ethereum transaction only is less than one cent. To swap a token is 41 cents. If you want to use ZK Sync, it costs 0.01 Ethereum just to send um, an Ethereum transaction, which is crazy cheap. To swap tokens is three cents. Berber Network, eight cents and 23 cents. 
Arbitrum 1, which has, remember, 50% of the entire Layer 2 TVL locked. It only costs 0.08 cents to send a transaction. L2 Fees and L2 Beat is a great resource for you to get to know some of the Layer 2 Ethereum scaling solutions. Make sure you check out the TVL and make sure you check out the Risks and Finances section to see which one you should be interested in and which one you should start using. All right, guys, I hope I've been able to give you a small overview of L2 Beat. In this video, we've done a few things, actually. I'm going to ask you to do something for me. I want you to look up your favorite L2, and I want you to tell me which one your favorite is at the moment. Is it Optimism? Is it Arbitrum? Is it ZK Sync or ZK Snark? There's heaps of them, right? And you have a great resource now to find out about all these Ethereum Layer 2 scaling solutions. My two questions for you are, have you used L2 Beat yourself? Do you like it? My second question is, which is your favorite Ethereum Layer 2 scaling solution? I've got one. It's a secret. You got to ask me in the comments. Now, before we go on and make sure you like and subscribe the video for me, make sure you check out the Collective Shift platform for the 10% discount code to keep you updated in the crypto market. That's it for now. Make sure you check out some of the other videos linked below. Ciao for now.